Hi folks, I just wanted to make a quick video um, showing well what I've been painting on the last couple of weeks and it's mainly really a video just to show the Zulus and the method I've used to paint those because I've had to do them in quite a batch method um, but first I'd look, just like to show you some conversions I've done you might have seen these if you followed me on um, Facebook I've got these up already there. I've done some carboneers. These were the, well, we'd call them the irregular horse that Lord Chelmsford employed. They were really meant to just guard Natal, but um, Chelmsford used them aggressively. He wasn't really meant to, but he sort of went to, oh, I don't know what you'd call it, it's sidestepping the uh, their intended purpose. And these are made from Warlord Games British, but I've used spikes from a few spare Zulu shields, just um, the main staff that holds them up, but I've actually just cut off the end of those to give me a nice little helmet spike. They're not 100% accurate because the, the webbing and the packs are different to what the carboneers would have had but at least they're, they're painted in the correct colours. Some of them I've tried to scrape off the um, the grooves and the tunic because I think the, the carboneers had a different tunic but um, sure <laughs> if I have an example of that. Um, I might not have done, done that on those but however when we go to this fella he's a um, Natal native horseman I've done that just to, you know, change the look of the of what's originally a Zulu or infantryman. I think he's quite passable after a little paint job. I'll try and improve the light here now because I don't think you can see much at all there. It's not amazing lighting here anyway, but that's that's a bit better I suppose. Yeah, nothing special, but you know they fill out the ranks. I do have bought four of the Empress miniatures, Natal native horse, but um, this will just flesh out the units. I haven't based them up yet either. It's just a piece of terrain there that I've got to finish off. I actually used a water dam PVA to seal it, but it's made it sort of glossy, so I'm going to try and cover that with some grass. And I've also discovered that Zulu war, st uh, sorry, Zulu land. Um, stones were more of a sort of well um sandy coloured rather than slate. So <laughs> I might change that. Well spend a little time painting those up sometime. Anyway, back to the Zulu painting method. I've gone in with Vallejo black and brown mixed. Um it's more of a heavy chocolate chocolate brown blend and that this is the paint I use. It's just called Vallejo Chocolate Brown. And I cut it cut in a little black for that when I'm giving them the base colour and that makes them turn out like this. I don't think you'll be able to pick up the subtleties in the the first layer and the highlight really. So that's just solid black brown, that's a very dark colour. And then to highlight the muscles on the flesh then we go in with a dry brush of Vallejo chocolate brown but this time highlighted with Iraqi sand or something similar like I've just used this highlight British tank crew and that's a lovely cream you know anything ivory you don't want to go too far with it so I wouldn't use much but just so there's a jump there's a decent highlight and I found that you don't even need to use ink on these then They've just got dark in the recesses, and hopefully you can see with the musculature just picked up a little bit. It's not very clear in the video, but just to give you an idea, um, in the flesh you can actually see there's a tone difference between the shadows and the and the raised areas. Um, this one I went a bit heavy-handed with. Maybe you can see it a bit better there. You know, just picking up the shoulders and just where the light's hitting. And this is a very cheap way of, not cheap, sorry, <laughs> quick method of um, 
painting up Zulus. So I've been burning through, I must have done 150 this week, 28mm models. You can see these fellas are ready to be finished off in the back and I've got an entire um, chopping board full of them over there in the corner. I've done these casualty markers and those I'm going to use for pin markers. I've only managed to do two for this upcoming game on Tuesday but in the future I'm going to make lots more of those and for the chieftains for the men who would be kings so the leaders we shall say they're on uh, larger bases just to differentiate them I haven't actually finished painting any of these but I have gone quite far with most of the Zulus um, I use a sort of English uniform or tan colour behind the shield and then the front of the shield then I go in with a black or white depending if they're unmarried or married unmarried I go in with just a straight black grey and you pick up the the ridges in the shield with an off-white and then if it's in the reverse then I do obviously black grey on the ridges but um, white just be careful you want to go if you I don't paint it brown when I'm painting the Zulu figure, say if this guy is going to be left with a white shield he'll have another light grey layer on top of there then an off white to finish it off and you might even need a second layer so that's actually one of the more time consuming bits of just getting the white just right and um, any spear shafts um, sorry spear points black grey for their black grey so yeah hopefully guys the main purpose of the video really was to tell you about the sort of dry brushing method for the Zulus. I think that's passable and the fact that you can churn out, you know, you don't have to wait for any ink to dry really, you know, if you've, well, really it could be two hours, the black brown is dried originally and a dry brush and they're ready, you know. If you're desperate for time you don't even have to varnish them and stuff but I will be this time now. Um, I'm going to crack them with those, I've got lots of basing to do, the wagons I've got as well, I've put those away just now but I've gone for a sort of light blue with them and um, that's about it for now folks, I'll probably do a proper update video just because I've done so much in the last couple of weeks, I, I, I'll uh, want to lay out the table and um, do a proper showcase for those guys but I'm really excited for Saturday, we're doing um, Crusade in South Wales tomorrow, that's a big wargaming convention and Tuesday now I've got a big Izanwana coming up, I've got Colonel Durnford to do and uh, well, all sorts of bits and pieces left to do so that's all for now folks and I'll catch up with you later, maybe even a video before the end of the day if I can get lots of painting done okay, ta folks